Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am out at Portland Bill, which is near Weymouth in Dorset. And uh, yeah, I was sat at home earlier on and I was like, I need to get out and do something. The weather wasn't looking great earlier on. It was raining and uh, it was very windy, but it seems to have died down a little bit now. It's still quite a bit windy. Um, being on the end of Portland Bill, you are right out in the middle of the sea. So uh, it, is, it is quite windy out here, but there is breakup in the clouds and um, we could be on for a nice-ish sort of sunset, so I'm not quite sure yet. So I've given myself an hour and 10 minutes or so to uh, get a few shots, walk around the area. I haven't been here for a, um, a couple of months, so there's a few compositions that I wanted to get last time that I didn't get. Yeah, it's good to be out. So I've set up a composition here in front of this like crane thing that used to go into the sea. I just thought it looked really nice being rusty old and I just thought it looked really nice as a as an interesting shot and I set up a composition here and I'm shooting at f8 for 30 seconds ISO 160 with the big stopper on and just a two second timer and yeah really nice image I just want to smooth out the sea even though it's nice and flat anyway yeah and focusing on this crane thing that's in the middle of the sea well on the end of the rock here and yeah, quite a different bit, bit, bit of a different image. I don't really know if it works. So um, tell me what you think down in the comments. And yeah, looking forward to getting some nice images. So I've just come back further round towards the lighthouse and uh, this bit here is usually inaccessible when the tide is high and I've never actually been down this side of, um, of Portland Bill, we usually go over the other side. Um, so I've come down to the left hand side looking towards the west so I've got a nice bit of light in the sky and then the um, lighthouse in the foreground too. And I'm exposing for about two and a half minutes now at F. 11 ISO 50 uh, yeah about two and a half minutes with the big stopper in and I have a grad on the sky just to bring out some detail on the sky too um, I think this will work it's a bit slippery up here so I'm not going too close to the edge just in case I end up in the sea but yeah the clouds are moving nice and quickly so it's making for some really nice long exposures because you get that wispiness in the sky and of course the sea will be completely flat as well so yeah this is two and a half minutes f11 ISO 50 with the big stopper so the great thing about shooting in places like this is there's always like cracks and crevices and um, little bits like areas where you can shove your tripod legs down through or like resting in like little cracks just like this and um, it just helps for stability like back of that other shot I think that last shot of the lighthouse um, because I was up on top of a rock that was like covered in algae and stuff it was quite slippery and um, I think that the lighthouse I must have got a bit of movement there somewhere because I think it's not completely sharp. But hey ho, uh, you, you, only, you can only deal with um, you can only deal with what you got uh, there. And I didn't bring my heavy tripod. Uh, I didn't think to bring my heavy tripod actually. Um, I've just bought my travel tripod, which is sturdy enough to do long exposures. Um, like in the last vlog when I was at Ladrum Bay, it was fine for five and a half minutes. Uh, yeah, no issues there, but um, I think the bigger, heavier tripod would have been a bit of a better idea today anyway. 
Anyway, so I've set up another composition here looking at uh, this rock. It's called Pulpit Rock on the end of Portland Bill. And um, it's really photogenic. It's great to photograph. And uh, the waves are starting to pick up now, actually. So we're getting quite a nice bit of movement in the waves. The tide is starting to come in. Yeah, so I've set up a composition here looking towards Pulpit Rock, looking west. Uh, the sunset is looking quite nice, although there is quite a lot of cloud. But there is a little bit of break up on the horizon, so as the sun comes down, I might be able to just catch my 30 seconds or so of the sun when it comes down through that gap on the horizon, but who knows. Anyway, so yeah, this composition is set up at F13 30 seconds ISO 80 with the little stopper and a grad on the sky. So yeah, tell me what you think down in the comments. Okay, so I've come around the other side of Pulpit Rock looking east now and um, I don't think we're going to get much um, sunset. I think this is going to be a black and white image, but I kind of like these black and white images anyway. They're very, like with the rocks being wet and there's a lot of contrast, so black and white always works really well. So I've set up a composition here looking directly at Pulpit Rock and smoothing out the waves now for three and a half minutes. I just did a test shot at three minutes and uh, it wasn't quite long enough not letting it in quite enough light. So um, yeah, this is F11 ISO 100 and I have the big stopper on at three and a half minutes. Really nice place to photograph, I love it. So the sun's gone down now and I'm making my way back to the car. I really like that shot, it's a great composition. And uh, Portland is one of these places that is, uh, as I like to say, shot to death, but um, it's a great place to have, sorry, I'm just walking down a, <laughs> there we go. It's a great place to have um, in your portfolio because it's, um, it's so photogenic. It's a really nice place to photograph. A yeah, very photogenic place and uh, yeah I managed to get a couple more shots of the lighthouse and stuff as well so I'll pop them up on screen for you in a second so I'm gonna wrap this one up here it's dropped in temperature now it's getting cold and uh, gonna get home pop a jacket spud in the oven I think and uh, sit back and relax for the evening with a beer or two so uh, thanks for watching as always guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do Click that subscribe button because I love making videos for you guys. Gets me out and about and uh, that's what it's all about. Give us a like, comment, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.